here it is. Tear gas canister shot on the premises of the University of Fort Hare, shot by uh, security forces. I call them security. Shot at students. Students are acting out, of course, you know, certain issues. They can't seem to be able to talk to a well, they've been talking about it since January, supposedly, but, uh, you know, it's come to this where we have uh, dignitaries coming to town and they have to be bubbled off from the students. So even you can't talk to, well, you know. Now, that's the interesting thing. People, are, why, why is leadership in bubbles all the time? They only get there, if they never get down to, when they do get down to somebody, it's, it's like, it's controlled. You know, nobody ever sneaks into a campus and starts talking to the kids, you know? Oh, for that matter, the kids don't talk to anybody. Well, anyway, my my comrade friend, who was uh, shot by now it turns out to be a rubber bullet, though it was shot by a tear gas canister, rubber bullet, uh, and, 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 and and the whole story is actually in the uh, in the paper here. So, uh, but he seems to be uh, recovering. Right there, C crashes on Alice's body. Ah, so we're right there. Anyway. So he's recovering, and hopefully he'll be able to continue with what he does. As it was, he was just standing by his residence, his res, with some other people, and a bullet came out of nowhere. There was no warnings or anything like that. So here you go. But you know, I told, this has been going on for like, this is the third, the third year. The first year stuff happened, I wrote this whole thing about telling this to the students. And see, here's the situation. Even, the, well, when the good, when the bad old days of apartheid stopped, Right, but also when they, they, they sort of threw out a whole a whole bunch of teachers, <laughs> university, just, just a whole bunch of teachers. So you have this whole generation that, that, that lost, that didn't get taught, they didn't get education. You know, not like Zimbabwe, since Mugabe was here, not like Zimbabwe, when the first thing they did was set up schools and educated everybody. Well, in South Africa, they stopped the education, but they didn't stop security forces. You know, they didn't stop training the police. And of course, you have the. Uh, then you also have here. You have this thing of, of private security, who can carry guns too. But the point is, you know, so education stopped, security kept on going, and now you have a situation where education meets security, but security they evolve to deal with. But the education has evolved. They're still doing the things back when you know they were fighting apartheid with the back and forth. It's not a good situation, anyways. Hopefully this will be resolved, you know, because this is not a, this is, I mean, the, the, this is chasm. Now, the, the older people see this on TV and see the, 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 the likes of, the, of, of officials uh, condemning the, uh, the violence, but no one's ever talked about, you know, well, they don't really dwell on what caused the violence or the months it took to get to this violent level, you see? So there it is, you know, so the, now, the, now the old people are all those kids, blah, 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 and it's, 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 uh, it's what we don't want. And this is my opinion from, T, from the Palestinian Secretary to let you know what I only suspect.